Hi, this is Jim Cramer with our oil expert, senior editor, Dan Dicker. Dan, it seems like the IEA might have gotten it right. For a change. Yeah. You know, they've always been behind the curve, Jim. And yesterday, they, they, they released a report which talked about the United States becoming the largest global producer. And I think that's burying the lead. Mm -hmm. The point of the IEA story, or at least their report, was in the erosion, the quick production and the erosion of U.S. shale assets, right. which I think is very much in front of the curve for a change. And I wanted to ask you, because you had a very interesting interview with Mark Pop. Yeah. who knows more than just about anybody about these shale assets, particularly in the Eagle Ford. Well, know? this is a EOG, frankly, versus uh, versus Pioneer, because Sheffield is saying, listen, it's so bountiful, it's unbelievable, don't worry about it, it's long-lasting, our, our, uh, the, the, particularly the Permian, there's much more. Pop is saying, no, I mean, look, be much more careful, be more circumspect, we have a lot of natural gas. Our natural gas is just, if we ever used it, it would be incredible. But our oil is finite, not that plentiful, although he says West Eagleford with new technology doing better, doing better as good as Eagleford, and Bakken doing well because of new technology. But I, I, my, when Papa said this stuff, I was, it kind of took my breath away because I thought he was a leading bull in how much oil. Yeah, and I've, and I've been on, I've been in the middle between both okay. of these guys. You know, the, the hype that comes from the pioneer guys, I sort of take with a grain of salt, and and sort of the pessimism that someone like Papa will yeah. deal to me, I also take with a small grain of salt. But we have seen, for example, a sort of end of the kind of parabolic growth in the yes, Bakken that already. That's what I mean, that that's very very important to recognize that people go and they produce in areas and they stick it in the ground where there's going to be good production that comes out of it and everybody sort of goes around where these guys have mm -hmm. found good production and then they kind of uh, imagine that the entire rest of the play is going to have the kind of production that they've had in this one small But Sheffield area. comes out this morning, Pioneer, and says it does. I mean, he gave us some more data this morning. That's why the stock's up very big. You know, exactly. I'm in between two. I, I don't want to be as big a bull as Sheffield. I, I don't want to be as big a bull bear as, as Papa right here. But I, I think don't. we want to we want to be very, very careful and importantly recognize when plays have their parabolic kind of rise. Right. We want to be on that train when yes. it's happening. For example, Pioneer had yeah. that parabolic rise yeah, this year. Simmer X, you, you, know. you want to be there, and but you want to be ready when the tide turns and the production kind of levels but off. But natural gas is not going to level off. We have too much natural and gas. That is, and, and, that's also the, and that's also the point. The point yeah. is that we've, we've just, it's, it's travesty how we've, we've uh, mismanaged Well, the president, I mean, resource. it's a fossil fuel and the president and Congress. And, you know, I met with the senator from uh, Ohio, Richard Brown, and he doesn't like to talk about jobs being created by the Utica. Uh, the, look, the country's ruled right now by dogma, and the dogma is green, and natural gas is still brown. Right. All right, Dan, thank you so much. Right, Jim.